Hi, I'm Joey, and today I'm going to show you how to look like Ryan Gosling. Let's begin. You're probably saying, why are you doing this? Well, it all started back in high school when girls would run up to me and be like, Um, oh my god, do you know who you look like? Uh... Danny DeVito? Uh, Kid Rock. No, you look like that guy from The Notebook. Hmm. The Notebook? Why would I ever watch that movie? The movie's stupid, like I've ever seen that movie. Come on. Oh my god, he's like so hot. Am I hot? No, you're weird. Have a good day. And I kept hearing that. A whole bunch. And I didn't believe it until this summer when I was at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. I was talking to the lady at the cash register and I was like, hey, are those brownies filled with cough syrup? Yeah, they are. They look good, don't they? Uh... Hey, you know who you look like, don't you? I was like, uh, you know, which NASCAR driver are you gonna say that I look like? Um, no, who do I look like to you? You look like that guy Ryan Gosling from The Notebook. I love that movie. So it was at that moment I realized maybe I kind of do look like him. So here are my personal tips to help you look like Ryan Gosling. You ugly son of a gun, huh? Yeah, okay. Step one, get a new wardrobe like this. And we're, wait, what? This isn't right. Not that I personally would own this in my closet. I look like the devil's pimp. Boom, there we go. Kind of look like I'm in the Matrix, but get over it. So, for the next step, you're going to shave your face to a length that's more GQ than it is Grizzly, okay? Remember that. Oh, damn it! I shaved too much! Go get the glue! Let's go! Okay, we're good. On to step three. Now, step three is for guys like me who God blessed with the effeminate jawline of Hilary Duff. Let the rain... What you're going to want to learn to do is poke your jaw out a tiny little bit. This is too much. Don't do this. This is wrong. This is also wrong. Don't ever do this ever. So this is pretty good. Poke a jot just a tiny little bit. Not too much. It doesn't affect the way you talk. Now, let's move to step four, okay? Step four is in the smile. Alright, anytime you see a picture of him, he's not smiling too big. Whatever you do, don't do this. You look crazy like a Stepford wife. Keep your smile thin and simple. Don't overdo it. Step five is about the hair. And I don't mean the musical. So, I don't really have the best hair in the world. I don't have a stylist. What am I gonna do? There you go, problem solved. Now there's one more step you can try if you're bold enough. I wouldn't recommend it. I can't even really do it. But if you want, maybe try to talk like him. You look good. Well, no, I mean, I'm just saying you look good, you know? Can I take you on a date? I know that impression was bad. Um, but that's all I got for this week. Those are my steps. Next week, I'll teach you how to live like Ryan Gosling. That will involve you building a time machine, going back in time, becoming more talented than you currently are, working yourself through the ranks of Hollywood, then dating Eva Mendes. That's all I got. Follow my Twitter. Uh, show your friends if you were entertained. My roommate has his poster. Thought I'd bust it out. That's all I got. I love that movie.